Welcome to Analytics with Nax and I'm happy and excited to announce a first video in 2025 that is Ultimate Data Analyst Roadmap. In this video, I'm going to walk you through what skills you require to become a data analyst, why you need those skills and what to study. With this note, let's begin. So skills required. Basically, you need the fundamentals of Excel. So why I mentioned this is like once you have a data analyst, it doesn't mean you are going to work only in uh, some other tools like Power BI, Tableau or any other reporting or modeling. You always need to export the data into Excel and compare or you need to do certain computations in Excel and generate it. So if you're not aware of Excel skills, just process it. Most of the people who work in the data world, they already possess the uh, Excel skill, so they can skip that. So what skills uh, I'm saying over here is like just a pivot and uh, creating uh, calculated columns and comparing some uh, columns with uh, this column and that column. It, you uh, let simple comparison, reconciliation, those kind of stuff. That is fundamentals of Excel is enough. But if you're not aware Excel, please learn. Of course, SQL is eternal. I have started uh, um, SQL is eternal. Uh, I am saying this for long, for over a decade. You cannot skip data analytics without an SQL. So SQL is a must skill. Then modeling skills. You need to understand um, schema like a star schema. Basically, how you are current uh, data model should be converted into your star schema that is very important and last but not least you should present all your data analytic skills in a beautifully crafted graphs for that you need to have a visualization you can have any visualization these three tools are uh, independent like out of a technology or a vendor like sql if you learn sql you can use it in oracle you can learn it in uh, netiza you can use it in microsoft sql server even the modeling skills but visualization my favorite is power bi even with this you can use any other tools as well so these are the skills to become a data analyst now let's go to why you need those skills right so let's try to understand the bi architecture over here uh, we have sources and you need to merge the data into somewhere or put it in a data lakes or create a data warehouse so then you create a model and then visualize this is the typical architecture of bi so someone who is having experience in sql they cannot generate the report in the bi models because they need to understand all other stuffs over here in the bi architecture right but as a part of a data analyst are you involved in all the phases let's try to understand it before that it's not always this architecture is followed. In some cases, there will be like stage as well as data. Growth. Something can not be in the data lakes. You can directly put it in the database as well. It's a very simplest architecture. So to answer our previous question, are data analysts part of entire thing? As you can clearly see, there is a distinguish between two roles here. This is the in charge or responsible for the data engineers who ingest the data from different sources and put it in staging and data warehouse on regular basis, maintaining it or creating new pipelines or dimension facts, all other stuff. It's a responsible for a data engineer. As a data analyst, we are uh, focused on creating the models. When a new dimension is added, new fact is added, you need to include as part of your modeling. So you need to understand, uh, that is why I said you need to have a clear understanding about modeling. Then the data will be flown into the reports. So you need to focus mostly on the uh, modeling and if something goes wrong, you need to have uh, knowledge on the SQL to troubleshoot it because always we cannot depend on data engineers you will just go one step back and then need to uh, have a look at what went wrong and what is correct right for that you need to have a, a skill as a very good option for your troubleshooting so as a data analyst you should have excel uh, xql as well as your modeling skills and power bi this is what you need to focus on and 
you will be part of the bi architecture even though you are not involved in the earlier parts of data engineering but this part is very important for you so that's it so where you can learn all this stuffs here right so we already have the content in analytics with nags youtube channel i created a dedicated uh, settings here to have a section added a section to make you understand um, what are the different aspects of whatever we discuss this channel doesn't contain excel excel is very uh, basic fundamental you can learn uh, any another channels for all other skills like sql modeling and then you have a power bi complete uh, videos in this section so once you follow this you definitely become a data analyst and i'm not saying only uh, uh, the content you can learn from here you can learn from anywhere else and those who are following my channel they are also following other people's channel as well please try to comment in the recommendation in the comments below so that other people's watching this video they can get benefit out of it so please do the uh, needful for this society i hope uh, that's it um what key takeaways like whatever be your uh, role it's a data engineer data analyst or uh, analytics manager whatever your role grows sql is a universal or eternal right you have to learn sql for any way then you are not learning one particular technology here like one particular tool to become a data analyst you should have a different tools and skill set basically right uh, when it comes to data analyst you need to have a power bi as well as sql and excel and you need to understand the uh, modeling as well so different tools and technologies you should have and do remember that data is your asset i hope uh, i'm uh, you are clear with what is required to become a data analyst if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset